Vertical analysis is also called a common size analysis, as it shows the relative sizes of the different items on a financial statement. It is a technique that expresses each financial statement item as a percent of a base amount. We apply vertical analysis to the income statement and the balance sheet. For the income statement, we express each item as a percentage of the biggest number, which is the top line, the sales. For the balance sheet, we express each item as a percentage of the biggest number, which is the total assets, which is equal to total liabilities and shareholders' equity. Let's apply the vertical analysis to the income statement for the year 2018. We divide all items by sales of the same year. This means that the sales will always be 100%. To get a vertical analysis of the cost of goods sold, we divide the cost of goods sold of $60 million by sales of $100 million, which is equal to 60%. To get a vertical analysis of gross profit, we divide gross profit of $40 million by sales of $100 million, which equals 40%, and so on for each item in the income statement. Let's apply the vertical analysis to the balance sheet of the year 2018. We divide all items by assets of the same year. This means that assets will always be 100%. Since assets equal liabilities plus shareholders' equity, liabilities and shareholders' equity will always be 100%. We have the asset side as an example. To get a vertical analysis of cash, we divide cash of $5 million by assets of $200 million, which equal to 2.5%. To get a vertical analysis of the accounts receivable, we divide accounts receivable of $15 million by assets of $200 million, which is equal to 7.5%, and so on for each item on the balance sheet.